What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction. This is my co-host, Zach, and this is Real Fan Sports. Zach, what do you have for us today, my brother? I got a good one. This was recommended okay. a couple times for us. You know, we checked out some crazy cricket bowls recently. Yes. And we both said about how impressed we were with just mm -hmm. the amount of spin that they're able to put in. Well, there's an art form to this. And today we're going to take a look at Sean or Shane Warren, King of Spin, Lay Spin Tutorial. And we're going to learn how oh, it's done. Okay. Okay. All right. So yeah. let's go ahead and let's get right on into it. I do remember seeing this in some of the comments. I do remember seeing this thing. Yes. I'm, I'm excited for this one. Yeah. Leg spin bowling. There's a lot of mysteries and a lot of different things being talked about leg spin bowling today. First off, my boy looked like uh, Mr. Uh, what's his name? The uh, Larry Lobster <laughs> from SpongeBob. Hey, you don't want to get his nose burned. I don't blame him. I don't like getting sunburned either. That's too funny. I'm going to show you five different deliveries. The first one being the most important, which is the leg break. The leg break. Oh, that was smooth. Oh my gosh. The most important thing when you're bowling leg spin and the leg break delivery is your grip. The grip must be two fingers down and two fingers up and the ball just slots in there like that. The leg spinner will spin from right to left on the pitch and you will spin the ball using your third finger. Like yeah, so. okay. Not I said, remember I said they let they spin did, it? You did. It's, it's that, that overhand motion. So he's yeah. holding it like this and he's it looking it down like that. Okay. All Interesting. Right. Spin the ball. We want to use his third finger that spins and, the ball. And, and, and guys who are, are joining in watching, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. I see the ball does have like, looks like, uh, I, I don't know, is that a lining? Like, I know like baseballs has like a stitching. Is that like a thin stitching that helps like able to, uh, you know, create that spin? I mean, from the way the ball looks, it doesn't look like that's a stitch. I feel like it's almost maybe like paint or something. Maybe it's just paint. That, look, that looks like a very hard ball, so I don't know if there's any stitching on that that's ball. That's it. I, I'm not sure if it's just solid or what. Let, let us know. Yeah. But it's to spin the ball. We want to use this third finger that spins the ball, and it's spun from right I mean, to left. It could be. Which is the best be. delivery to bowl right to left. The back of your hand will be facing yourself, which is important. To get the biggest spin on the delivery. Hmm. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's interesting though. No, oh, crazy. he got it to bounce right the perfect perfect spot to go behind him. What? <laughs> and it probably still hit the wickets too. Uh, I'm sure it did. Top spin. <laughs> He's out. The second delivery is the top spinner, or sometimes called the over spinner. It's delivered with exactly the same grip, comfortable with the part. Mine's probably a little bit too close, but that's, oh, no, that's just what works stitching. for me. Whatever yeah. works for you. Sometimes a wider grip yeah, is stitching. okay as well. But what you do, instead of spinning the ball with your third finger, spinning it from right to left, the ball will go straight on and bounce. So it's important when you're bowling this delivery. So instead of we said as the back of your hand faces yourself, the back of the hand now will face the batsman. So the ball will come over straight over like that. Oh, okay. And it's all important. The follow through, everything is important on this spinner. You want to go straight over like that. And the ball, it won't spin, hmm. it'll go straight on it. And sometimes the batsman and that's when it catches up that speed too. Or a leg spinner, yeah. and they're not quite sure. And this is when it brings back pads into play, bowls. Oh, he caught that! <laughs> he caught that. That was a nice grab. Yeah. The wrong wrong one. Wrong one. Ooh. Ooh. Is that like an outside curve? So instead of right to left, he's going left to right? Okay, the wrong end. This can be I a very so. uh, deceiving delivery. If the batsman's not reading and watching the hand, uh, then he can not be sure which way the ball is going. So this can be a very good delivery. It's delivered with the same grip, two fingers up, two fingers down. It's a little bit wider fingers here, not too much, whatever feels comfortable. 
as we saw the top spinner go straight over. The wrong one, it's released from the back of the hand, like so. So we said the leg spinner, back of the hand facing me. Top spinner, straight facing the batsman. The wrong one, it's most important you watch the seam. When you bowl a ball, the back of the hand is facing fine leg and the seam. It shows you which way the ball's going to spin. So when it is released, it's released yeah. the same, but it's released more out the back of the hand. So it comes out like that. Wait, wait, wait. So you're still using your It goes out the out the back of the hand? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Bro, I'm I'm already lost. I'm like I'm, like not lost. Like I'm 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 with it. I'm with it. But you know, he he goes and say unless the the batter is is like really paying attention to the hand position of the bowler, it's hard to judge what is coming at him and the biggest difference oh, yeah, yeah. is is in the back of the hand and wh where it's facing so when he's coming through yeah, if it's facing the batter then you knows that's going to be the o the top spin the overspin if it's mm -hmm. facing you and it comes down then you got the curve and then you got mm -hmm. the wrong end and it looks the same but it's released behind instead of in front like <laughs> like <laughs> okay <laughs> he said, are, are, are you, are, I mean, are you, are you there? Like, I'm, I can't be the only one that's a little, little mixed. No, I mean, I, I, I get what he's saying. I could, looking at the hand position, I definitely get, I get what he's saying. Just interested to see how it's being done, how it's being, the follow through is happening. In slow motion. Because it's like, it's just like baseball slow, where you have yeah. a knuckleball, fork ball. You have to, yeah, you use, there's different versions of spin you put on the ball to make the ball mm -hmm. go a different direction. So I guess just from a lot of experience of baseball, like I'm not surprised that there's super, there's crazy tricks to it. I'm just interested to see how it's done. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Third finger, but now it's coming out the back of your hand like that. And you can see the seam going down towards fine leg. Some of the batsmen that don't watch the hand, they're it's not sure so yeah. why it's going to go. Man. This is a such a great video. Play for the leg break and it like, them interesting how he clicks that. Pad, Very interesting. They go back to try and cut you and you can get... Well, I, I think what's comes. so cool about this okay. video, like if you're if you're trying to learn, like he, this is such a great explanation because it shows mm -hmm. where you can even practice in slow-mo to see how this man's supposed to look just tossing it back and forth to yourself before yeah. you actually go into action and try to throw it across. Yeah. I mean, it, it that part like what you just said. It reminds me when when I was younger, and they're teaching you the handheld handholds for a screwball, for fa uh, fastball, for yeah, a uh, curveball, uh, football, slider, for a curve, right? for a slider. Like, because there's different types of the way you position your hands on the ball. Like, like how mm -hmm. he's actually holding it. That's you, you're holding it the same way, but you're just throwing it a different direction in baseball. Like that's that's a very similar hand position. You know what I'm right. saying? With the fingers being placed. Very positive. So that part I was like, I I can probably get that quick. <laughs> yeah. Just now how he's how he's actually throwing it, that's just an adjustment because that's an awkward throw. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No doubt. But break yeah. and it bowls them between the gate, bat and pad, or they go back to try and cut you and it can get bowled, chopped on, or a big bat pad chance from the ball spinning back into the back. Mm. You can see. The back of my hand, okay, so, fine leg, so basically scene. what that's doing, it, it they're making it think spinning. it's going to hook in, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And you can see in that position, he goes and he goes to step back because he's waiting for the curve in, and it doesn't, and he just gets smacked in the back of the leg. That was a good shot to see that. Like, this, rewind the shot real quick. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's right there. It's right there. Right here? Yeah. It reminds you, you know, when you... It's like when you look at um, street basketball, too. How when they have the basketball and they dribble it and they make the ball go a different direction when they throw it in front of them. Almost oh, yeah, like yeah. how when you have the yo-yo and you, you walk the dog with the yo-yo and you mm -hmm. cause it to hit the ground a certain direction, but it comes back to you at the same time. That ball, is getting when it's hitting the ground, it's like a dead leg. So it's hitting and it's, the, you know, it's, it's going against its actual natural reaction where it's supposed to go, but it's actually, because of the spin, it's going to the opposite direction, which is... That that's a skill. That's a true skill. That's really oh, yeah. really impressive. You know that that's true. Now that you put into like, cause I know basketball. Once you put into basketball yeah. terms, now I understand it. Cause that's it's the exact same thing. Cause I, I do that dribble a lot where you go through like you're gonna cross over left, but when you go and cross over, you kind of flick underneath it to you where put, it rolls yeah, over the top of your it, hand. Yeah. That way you go this way, but the ball's still there, and it's an easy yeah. uh, head fake. Because you can put a spin to make it go straight back up. You can put a spin to make it go to the right. You can make put a spin on make it go to the left. And they're doing the same thing. And it's just, but it all starts with how they position their hand, because how they position the hand is how that ball's going to land. They're, they're telling right. the ball what to do, basically. 
And if you're not paying attention, you don't know what's coming. You yeah, have you no idea. Right. <laughs> not, not, not the slightest of clue. <laughs> I'll, I'll, talk, I'll, I'll start with a hand toss, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he caught him swinging tough. <laughs> the flipper. The flipper. Ooh, that was nice. So he pulled one for four. The flipper's been a, a great delivery of mine over a, a long period of time. Uh, it can be a very rewarding delivery, but it's quite a tough delivery to bowl. I think it's most important that you get the leg spinner, the top spinner, and the wrong and first, and then you can slowly develop the flipper. The flipper is delivered with exactly the same grip, but your thumb comes into play here. You don't use your thumb on any of the other deliveries, but you use your thumb on this one. This one is squeezed mm. out and comes underneath like that. And the best way to practice this delivery is to click your fingers. You put the ball in there, and then you just click your fingers. Don't See, try and do anything. That else. I actually know how to do. Click I can fingers. do that. Just click your fingers. You can do that. You got yeah. that down? Yeah, I can do that. I used to do that as a kid. We when we were waiting hand, in baseball. We I do like that. that. I would do that. Rather than out the back of the hand. And then all you do is click your fingers. And you'll see it coming yeah. out like that. So as we can see, it's coming out That's from funny. underneath. That rather than funny. out the back like that for a leggy, it comes out the bottom of the hand like that for the flipper. That's interesting. Like the, the amount of like strength you have to have in your fingers to be able to oh, do yeah. that. Because yeah. you're still throwing it. it you know, this kind yeah. of this reminds me similar to like, not similar, but like to like a knuckleball, right? Like when knuckleball, mm -hmm. you have to have really good power in, in your fingers yeah. to be able to deliver that <laughs> while coming part. while coming over the top with it to give it that knuckle effect. With this one, yeah. same thing. If you can't snap it while you're coming over the top, it's going nowhere. That's so okay. You're definitely it's not going to get the effect. Yeah. I agree. And it will skid off the ball because it's got backspin on it. It'll skid low and hopefully get the batsman bowled or LBW. Oh, you can just tell how it just drops. It doesn't raise at all. Yeah. It hits off the ground. It's super low. <laughs> this dude is crazy. <laughs> I, I know we're seeing like some hit, you know his highlights, it, but like these dudes pitching is or, or bowling is crazy. Got him slip, got him slipping. That's the slider. Yep. Now the slider <laughs> got me on developing over the last 12 or 18 months with a lot of help from Terry Jenner, who used to bowl it a fair bit. It's delivered like the leg spinner. The leg spinner is spun like that, as we've talked about, with the seam going from right to left, spinning the ball. Now all we do with the slider is we go a little bit further around and we come right around the ball like that. We're delivered with the palm of our mm. hand facing the batsman and the ball comes out like that. It's delivered like that and it'll slide straight Whoa. on rather than the leg break like that. The slider is delivered like that and it will come down like that. The way to bowl it, it's exactly the same grip. It's exactly the oh, same. It skips off and we the bat. a leg break yeah. like that. The slider, it's just a bit further wrist position, so the palm faces the batsman, and it goes straight through like that. This ball will slide on, the, and hopefully the batsman thinks it's a leg break. It should slide on. It's good delivery for LBWs and bowl. That one probably catches them swinging all the time. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, that spin is going a whole different rotation. It's crazy. Yeah, that drop is crazy. <laughs> you just see yeah, so he think, it, he think it's going to bounce and well, curve to that point. It's just, uh, just slowly bounces roll, roll up. Which, uh, hopefully you can confuse batsmen. You guys out there, the best way to practice is exactly that. Practice. That's the best way it's to practice, learn. Yeah. But practice properly. As we've talked about the grips, but you've got to make sure that you bowl with a nice high arm, not too high. But making sure we follow through and getting all the basics right. Leg spin can be great fun, and you can come up with your own mystery ball if you keep practicing in the next right. <laughs> you change the grips. All these different deliveries can be bowled wide of the crease, in close to the stumps, in all different areas on the crease. If you keep doing those sorts of things, you'll find that the ball does different things. And your best weapon 
his natural variation off the wicket. That can be the best yeah. mystery ball you've ever had, his natural variation. So keep practicing. Good luck with it all. And um, I'm looking forward to your feedback. Good job. Great explanation. That was and great visual, too. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, hitting yeah. the, I'm hitting the like button on the video. And we're going to have a link <laughs> at the bottom. Make sure y'all yeah. hit a like button as well. That, that was probably the best explained, like, demonstration of, like, that we could have asked for because we wanted to know mm -hmm. we we're like we want to understand what's the mechanics behind it how they get that spin coming over the top like they do and i figured it was more of a variety than what we could have imagined but mm -hmm. like this definitely like played the part and just makes me double up on what i said as the batter like to be able to judge these things in a, in a split second has to be so yeah. complicated yeah especially as that ball first because as first ball comes out a lot of them look similar but once they hit that turf for the first time, that's when you realize, okay, this is, I had no idea. This was not what I thought was coming. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought it was right. going to be, like you said, a top spin. Like I, th I, it looks like that, but then the one, especially when he flips with the three fingers and then, the, then he opens his palm and throws it that direction, which is kind of remind me of like a knuckleball almost like mm -hmm. you were saying, because it probably has a lot of dead, dead uh, rotation with it. That's a, yeah, that that could definitely make it difficult for uh what for was batsmen. Your, what was your favorite one? What was your favorite pitch? Well, the one with the three fingers because they remind me of my childhood. Because when we when we would play, like I didn't play on an organized team. We played in street teams. So, but when, mm. we, when we were waiting for other players to come, that's something I would do, like just mess around. And it wasn't like because I was just bored. You just throw it up to yourself. You just throw it up to yourself. But yeah, I didn't know. I mean, not never knew that that was part. That was the beginning phases of an actual pitch. For this for sport, you know, what I'm yeah. never knew that. That's, that's pretty. I, think that's, I, li I, I like think the that's slider. Cool. I like the slider because I yeah. like the way that it does that front spin. I, I like mm -hmm. how how it does. Yeah, that the front spin was spin. cool. The spin was cool because it, as it goes, you can see it coming to you, but it's going this way instead of like yeah. this, like it would normally go. <laughs> you probably be like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> <laughs> you roll up for the first time. You just got you. You know, you're brand new. You just got used to the top spin. One. You're like, All right, I got this. They throw that out. Or what? <laughs> I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna you know, be, and it's know, not baseball. You can't. You can't stare at it. You know, baseball. You yeah, can stare yeah. at it and take a strike. Yeah. You can't stare at it. You gotta go swinging. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. You know, what would be interesting is to have the top pitchers in American baseball go to cricket, and the top pitchers in cricket go bowlers in cricket go to American baseball. How would do they like, fare? Like, like both of them do like a week's training or something like that. Yeah, like, like and, like and how would they fare at each other's sport? That would be interesting to see. That would be That'd really be interesting sick. to see. All That'd right. be cool, if, like. guys. If y'all know any cricket professionals or MLB professionals, <laughs> we got a video idea. Okay, we we'll got give an them, idea. We'll give them. We'll give them some of the proceeds. <laughs> Man, if they because if they go, that video's gonna pop. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. But that was cool. anyway, that guys. Was that was like that. that was really fun, and I really appreciate yeah. that recommendation. And keep bringing yeah, the too. recommendations on. We want to keep reacting to some more cricket. This was really fun. Nan, you got any more? Uh, anything else to add? No, that's it, man. I ain't really enjoyed that one. I really enjoyed it. Keep bringing them. Same, same. All right, guys. Well, y'all know the deal. If you're new to the channel, be true to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And until the next one, guys, we're out of here. Peace out. Peace Cheers. out.